So we just got to the seven minute mark of Legends of Tomorrow. What was the name of the episode? Oh, let me see. Last Refuge. It has to do with a deadly time assassin called the Pilgrim wanted to take out the legends from the timeline by killing the their younger selves, as I mentioned last week. Uh, so far, not much new has been mentioned. Just that he's trying to go, the Pilgrim will try and go after them. It might have been a preview, but I'm not even sure. It was a little weird since they sort of redone it and just sort of cut some minutes, but you know, it's an hour long show. They tend to. It's not going to be like a a tour thing, but it'll be entertaining, and it's a good recap for everyone who hasn't watched it so far. Basically, the Pilgrim went after Ray Palmer in an earlier time when he was working at his studio company, whatever. He suffered from injuries, and then they get back in time because, like, the machine, the time ship, whatever you call it, Catches the detect anom- temporal anomalies, so that helps them wherever they get into trouble. Basically, now they're capturing their own babies, the baby selves, not their own babies. That'd be different. So that they'll be safe from the pilgrim. <coughs> Good move. You should always do that in case anything happens. Also, I think there should be a drinking game every time there's an Adam hot girl pairing. Every time there's a explanation of what the program is in the episode. One half of Firestorm is meeting his father. Thanks to the other half of Firestorm. I feel they'd be using these kind of moments more often. Sorry that the time travel and stuff, but oh well. Also, the Pokemon has time freezing powers, which is interesting. Those well done effects, save for a special time. Oh boy, she's right there with the baby. Oh wait, missing. Missed me. Why would they put that sign there? Why is the Pokemon so slow? And this time machine's the Also, the Pokemon has really good time, pa- time powers, time freezing powers. Oh no, the Pokemon found the baby. Oh wait, it's gone. They put a mystery sign there. That's very dumb. Rip Hunter's mother knows that he's a time traveler. The girls, Hot Girl, and. Rupunder's know, mother knows that he's a time traveler. Rupunder, I mean. It was Hot Girl and. Not really Hot Girl, but. League of Assassin's Girl idea to go get the baby selves when they were younger. It was a good move by the Pilgrim to go after the loved ones. However, it's a little bit boring how the whole thing about the episode is that she could go after all of them, but they already covered all that already. And the ship's too powerful so that they can never get to them. There's a lot of drama going on with Firestorm's dad, the relationship stuff with Hawk Girl and the Atom. That again. I don't know, I didn't really like the idea of her heart girl listening to This is the old lady heart girl Like, there were only arcs that already she was already past that part already.
or else. She goes after them. The, it, the episode really isn't that much about the episode that was mentioned in the preview or whatever, which is a bit misleading, but also, like, it's just lazy. Like, they just kept two doing about the same stuff over and over again, opposed to doing other stuff. But again, you have to rate these TV episodes on the schedule. It's tight, so like I understand why they did that. Also, it has to be an hour long, and you also have to do it in a certain budget, so you can't go to too many places or edit too many scenes, which is an issue. Understandable. Also, like this is probably a very expensive show, considering how many places go throughout the ser series, season, you know, whatever. It's very unfortunate that this feels a little bit cheap when the Pilgrim could have been explored a little bit better, and the situation could have had some more stakes. And, uh, just could be a lot more dramatic. As much as I dislike the rest of the episode, the climax in the end was very good, showing that they have a strategy to defeat defeating the Pilgrim in the end. And there's a lot of cool stop motion. Then, see, it does look a bit too much like a soundstage role, considering that. I guess they just need a factory spot to encounter each other and fight people without there being full civilians. Even though, like, I don't know if there would be civilian stuff ever, so I don't know. I'm going to say this much. That was a pretty kick-ass way for Hunter to save them all in the end. Although, the Pilgrim has no character at all. Gets killed. No circumstances, just, you know, survive and some bullshit. But we get to learn. That's a cool action scene in the end, at least. I don't know if I'm going to keep the stream on any longer. Uh, it'll be on, but it'll just be like the last few minute things. I really don't know what else I can add. It was maybe the last two segments that I talked that was basically what I thought about the episode. So Hunter kicks ass. Hunter makes a promise to old Firestorm that to make sure that his wife is okay, like Hunter's wife will be as a result. However, I have my doubts about this, and I'm thinking he's lying, but we shall see. Hopefully there's not a spoiler. You're know, like, not involved anyway, but it's just a thought. Hopefully you thought of that too. Hearing Firestorm has more of his dad. Basically, the end was, uh... The heads figure out where Hunt... Vandal Savage was again! And finally they figured it out. Probably not, but you know what I mean. The preview had Hot Girl trying to figure out a way to permanently get rid of them. That was interesting. And uh, see you guys later.